Okay, my partner Angela was given this clock as a present, so she's sort of quite fond of it. And it worked fine for, I don't know, a couple of years, three years, and then recently started running a bit slow and then a lot slow and then stopped despite having a brand new good battery in it. And like all these things, it's powered by one of these quartz clock mechanisms. So I just bought another one that fitted from Dan's Clock Shop. Um, thank you, Dan. Uh, there's a, a link in the description. And this one is made in Germany, so I'm hoping this one's going to last a bit better. And this is the old one I took out, which was made by Heisinger, I don't know how you pronounce that, uh, which is a known name, but made in China. And I also have my octopus clock, which I'm planning on putting a, row, a ring of LEDs around and having a groovy LED clock, uh, because this one packed up as well and I put a an unbranded mechanism in it, which is that, and that failed in no time at all. Um, and I, I guess a few other clocks I've over the years I've, I've changed these mechanisms out in, and I'm not never thought of what actually goes on in them. Um, so I thought uh, we'd tear into these two and see how they work, what goes on in them and maybe even find out why they failed and whether they can be fixed. Okay, so how do you get into this thing? Uh, it looks like it's just a pair of clips on each side. So, shall I find the screwdriver? Give it tidy up. One screwdriver. They bend I want to go under. Click that under there. Yep. And off it comes. And there we go. <laughs> so there is just Uh, a lot of gears. There's some more gears under there. And a big coil here. Presumably there's some electronics out there. There's a circuit board under there. Let me try it. That's in there. circuit board there. So, should we put a battery in it and see what happens? Okay, here we are. A battery. Try and get it the right way around. So, Is that the fault? Okay, so we're going to try and hold this under the camera. If I push that down, it suddenly starts working. There's a gear wheel there. And this gear wheel has those pieces of plastic in it. Why, I don't know. I've got another clock going in the background which you can hear ticking. 
is probably confusing the issue. Okay, so here we are in the usual problem of trying to video very small things on what is just supposed to be a, a domestic video camera. However, should we tear into it a bit further? Oops! Ah, oh well, there we go. Oh, there. Oops, right. I should go and retrieve that gear off the floor. And that goes off there. So that's why it was working when I pressed down it. There are two, let's put that in the camera, and two contacts there, which match up to those two contacts on there. And there's a crystal there, just a standard 32 whatever kilohertz watch crystal. And there's a blob under there, which is the clock uh, chip. Okay, so I might turn you off and go and have a look round and at the various bits and pieces and bring you back when I've come to some conclusions. Okay, so this coil and this bit of wire and this little thing essentially form an electric motor. Now let me try and pull this out. So that, I, whoop, yep, it's just got a magnet on the bottom. And there's a magnet down in that, can we see, yep, down in that little hole there. So with no power applied, if I can do this. These two magnets want to line up, so if I just move that, there, that's stopping it. We go it'll flip into one of two positions put this back in the bottom half of the case right the case is now sitting on a, a block of wood with a hole in it see that yeah so when I put all the innards in they're not pushed back out again so I need to Get this down in there, line all these up, there we go, drop that back in. So if I put the battery in, see it's going half a turn anti-clockwise every second and you can tell that about the other clock ticking interested to know how it knows to go the right way all the time okay so this is the bit the hour hand goes on on the end there so that's the bit that goes in first now I have here some oil which is that 
hope very light oil which is for my wild beard clippers and I'm going to try assembling with a drop of this and if it's completely wrong it will probably seize up immediately but anyway we'll give it a go so that's the hour goes in there A drop, he says. A gallon on. So the minute and is that, but that doesn't go straight on. So the minute hand goes on that the end of that brass bit. The flat sides. Mini 10 doesn't go on next. I'm looking at the picture here. All right, I have it figured. This goes in next, and this is the gear which divides the mini 10 by well, that would be you the sitting Twelve, yes, the minute hand goes round once in an hour and the hour hand goes round once in twelve hours. So then we drop in really a bit of a wipe. hand so uh, just see this in action okay so I'll put two little pen marks on there and if I spin this one round once that's gone on by about an hour Okay, so I think that is all we put on underneath the plate with the motor on. So now I'm going to put back in this positive terminal. I'm going to spray a bit of deoxid on. Yeah. And bit on there off my finger. So we put in the motor assembly. We hope. Come on. Come on. That's all down. I think. Yep, I'm going to say, I'm going to call that down. And we now have this, which is drives the second hand. And we have this, which is just an intermediate gear. that which drives the minute hand from the second hand so first this goes in this way up There'll be somebody watching this screaming at me, don't put oil on those plastic gears. However, it's a learning curve. So that's, yeah, that's driving the gears down there. There's this little transparent idler gear thing. 
Mm. Sorry, working out a shot there. There we go. And the last one is the second hand. The second hand goes on that and it goes end of the shaft and it goes all the way down there. All the way down. There. There we go. So We couldn't find anything wrong with it. Interesting to see how it works, but we couldn't find anything wrong with it. Okay, so a little more judiciously, I hope, placed light oil and we will try putting the top back on all right so it's ticking I haven't got any hands to put on it so <laughs> i shall add just after three o'clock. Put a mark, I hope. I mean, it's probably a bit oily. On the hour shaft. And leave it to run and see how it does. Okay, so here we have the second victim. This was, as I say, he's not going to be a clock with hands for much longer, or when I get round to starting the octopus clock project. Um, so let us see if we can get this mechanism out of here. And <laughs> if I try and undo, oh no, it's gone, it's going. Uh, I can undo the second hand, there we go. As you see, I didn't manage to order the correct... You can't see that, can you? Right. How oh, about that? Didn't manage to order the correct mechanism for the hands for the original clock mechanism, so I uh, modified them. Not very effectively. And the reason why the octopus is going to go LED. So, um, let's need to get that nut off, for instance. An adjustable spanner. Drop out now, and the nut has gone on the floor where it can stay. Okay. The rubber thing, and this one also seems to be two little clips. So go on, let's go, let's go in there. Ah, come on. Ah, looks like there's another little tab. There, can we see that? We zoom this in its fraction. Black plastic never being the easiest to film. Unless it's ah, there we go. Oh, and bits falling out of it already. Ah. That is the clock itself. So, so far, fairly similar. Can we see that?
And then a little motor and a coil which looks suspiciously similar. And this gear is that the gear that goes there, in which case what's this one? <laughs> But you only know, see that. Bring it around. Bring it up to that. Is a touch flexible. <laughs> Crazy. So let's pull the assembly out. Let's take this off and pull the seconds out the assembly out yep and that's the minute oh, the crystal is soldered on somewhat again see if I can show you that not even bothered chopping the ends of the legs off the crystal the ends of the leads well, I might, just for the hell of it, try putting some lube on all the bits and putting it back together and see if you know, I can get it to run. Uh, and since you've seen me do that once, I'll bring you back when I've done it. Okay, so it's back together. And unlike the other one, these two gears that fell out between them, the motor and the second hand there are two gears so should we try putting a battery in and see if it'll work and I'm going to mark the motor again just to see if it's going around okay shall we do it oh Battery won't go in for a start in the right way. There we go. Well, the motor doesn't seem to be running, but I suspect it needs to be pushed down somehow. Like that. By the top cover. So all I can do at this point is put the top back on and see if it runs then. How will we know it's running? Got the uh, You adjust a knob. Wrong. Where does that go? That way. It looks no, that's not straight either. Ah. I clip it together. And then and feed this in. Yeah, there we go. Well, I can hear it whirring, so can we? Doesn't have a second hand, of course. That goes on the. So if I mark that and put that on, that just covers up the second hand for. No, I would say that's not happy. Okay, I think in the end we'll call that one a fail, but it's a unbranded one, so maybe the moral of that story is don't buy unbranded clock mechanisms, whereas this one, I might zoom you back in again. And for the battery, 
at the bottom near me where's the right so battery is at the bottom so here's my mark on the hour and the bottom here would be six o'clock so that is showing about eleven o'clock and the time is just before eleven o'clock so I think this one is working so I need now need some sort of a project with the clock mechanism in or I could put it back in the original clock hoo hoo so I think we're gonna call it a day on clock mechanisms oh it's an interesting little journey into the to the world of clock mechanisms so uh, for now uh, subscribe if you like us thumbs up maybe comment and for now it's goodbye from triplicate home of interesting electronics Goodbye.